rolling hills blanketed by mist, lush meadows and total silence. Up in these West Virginia mountains, there's no chance of your cell phone picking up a signal. For visitors, it's a struggle. For locals, a way of life. They can't comprehend not being able to use their cell phone or, or uh, Wi-Fi. Whenever I'm away from here, everybody you see is usually on the phone or texting or on the internet. They're not communicating with each other face to face. The town of Greenbank sits inside the U.S. National Radio Quiet Zone, a 13,000 square mile area where most types of electromagnetic waves are banned. Look up, and the reason for this looms in the distance. This is the largest uh, fully steerable reflector service in the world. The Greenbank Telescope enables astronomers to detect and study objects in space that shine little visible lights but emit radio waves like pulsars and distant galaxies. To avoid electronic interference, microwave ovens, Wi-Fi, radio, TV broadcasts and cell phones are all banned by state law. Mike Holstein, business manager of the telescope, thinks this benefits the community. It's actually quite a sociological phenomenon to leave here and go somewhere that has cell service everywhere. The lack of social interaction is surprising. Um, here, if I walk down the street and I hear someone say, hey, how are you doing? I will turn because they're probably talking to me. We're, uh, but for Charles Mechner, uh, moving to Green trees, Bank wasn't trees, about leaving his phone behind. It was for the world. sake of his health. Charles suffers from electromagnetic hypersensitivity and says certain frequencies can trigger dizziness, nausea and headaches. The quiet zone has become a gathering place for people like him over the last decade, with around a dozen now living in Greenbank. I don't know how long my future or our future as a group of sensitive people to this electromagnetic frequency is going to last here because technology is slowly coming in. If we happen to lose the radio telescope, it's done. But with astronomers from all over the world using the Greenbank telescope round the clock, cell phones will likely remain undesirable in the area. For now, Green Bank's slow, disconnected pace is here to stay.